Hi, this is Claire Murphy from the 5AA Newsroom and this is The Week That Was. The trial has begun into Liberal Senator Mary Jo Fisher's alleged shoplifting and assault at Fruville Foodland back in December. We've heard evidence from a security officer who claims she was slammed in Miss Fisher's car door as well as pushed to the side. We've also heard that the CCTV footage from the day has been wiped over. The Australian High Court has ruled that it is not legal to send asylum seekers to Malaysia. Malaysia, however, does still want to work with us to stamp out people smuggling, while there are calls for all asylum claims to be done right here in Australia. Children's author Mem Fox's husband Malcolm walked free from court this week after being found guilty of having unlawful sexual intercourse with a 17-year-old student from back in the 80s. He got off with a three-year, $1,000 good behaviour bond. Two guys in their 20s caused some hassles for police and SES crews down in Mount Gambia, deciding it would be a great idea to climb down a sinkhole and drink a carton of beer. After a four-hour standoff, SES crews had to rescue the two intoxicated fellas. A major announcement was made that there'd be a big investment in a wind farm just outside of Ardrossan on the York Peninsula. The $1.3 billion project will bring in 500 jobs during construction and 50 ongoing over the years. Angelica Guevara was this week found guilty of murdering Von A. McGlynn. The Ronella pensioner's body was found dismembered and dumped in Christie's Creek, not far from Guevara's house. It was because she wanted Von A. McGlynn's house to sell and buy one of her own. A 17-year-old fell to his death from the Southern Expressway Monday morning, trying to graffiti the side of a bridge. Since then, his mates have been tagging the same spot, despite the arrest of an 18-year-old and a ramped up police presence. New Yorkers dodged a bullet this week with Hurricane Irene sweeping in but not causing too much damage, just some minor flooding. However, across the US eastern states, 41 people lost their lives as the storm hit. Teenage mums are becoming an endangered species in South Australia. It's been found that they only make up 4% of new mums, with 21% now giving birth over the age of 35. For more information on all the stories you've just seen, you can check it out at 5AA.com.au. And for more news live as it happens, make sure you tune in to 1395 Adelaide's 5AA.